Welcome back, strangers. With the 4th of July only a couple days away, many people are looking forward to hitting the lake with their loved ones. However, today's stories may just leave you wondering what really dwells beneath the surface. Strange things happen at Pyramid Lake in Nevada. The lake is a geographic sink of the basin of the Truckee River and is 40 miles northeast of Reno. It has no outlet, with water leaving only by evaporation or subsurface seepage. Every year, several unexplainable events are reported in the area, especially during springtime. Visitors and locals report hearing the cries of lost water babies and the fishermen who never returned home from the lake. According to local legend, the American Indian Paiute tribe were said to have thrown malformed and premature babies into the dark and murky waters to drown in order to keep the tribe strong, keeping only the children who would grow to be capable and useful members of their tribe. The spirits of the abandoned babies are said to still linger around Pyramid Lake. Stories of visitors coming to the lake and hearing the voices of children and noises of babies have long been spoken of, creating the water babies legend. Another Paiute story involves a tribesman and a mermaid from Pyramid Lake who fell madly in love, only to have the union rejected from the tribe. The heartbroken mermaid was exiled from the lake by the Paiute tribe, but not only did she not leave, she remained there in her growing fury, cursing the waters and seeking vengeance on any man that attempts to enter her lake. This, of course, would explain all of the missing fishermen. Almost every year, fishermen out on Pyramid Lake go missing and are almost never found. The locals will tell you that those who have gone missing were taken by the upset water babies of Nevada. Many believe the mermaid legend was concocted by the Paiute tribe to cover up their horrendous crimes of drowning their own babies. Would you spend a day vacationing at this gorgeous lake in Nevada? Lake Winnebago is a shallow freshwater lake in Wisconsin. It's the largest lake entirely located in the state and provides drinking water to over 250,000 residents in nearby cities. The average depth of the lake is only 15.5 feet and the maximum depth is 21 feet, yet the Winnebago tribe would tell stories of a massive fish who inhabited Lake Winnebago. The monster would snatch up deer, elk, and moose. None of the Winnebago would cross the channel or swim near it for fear of this monster in the lake. Some in the area said the monster was a prehistoric sea serpent whose descendants had managed to survive in the lake long after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Others believe the monster is the descendant of a large sturgeon, a fish that looks like a cross between a shark and a catfish, that inhabits the lake. Recently, a group of men spotted a dark form floating in the water. It was a monster 300-pound sturgeon. They hauled it to shore and found that the cause of death was the result of a horned animal who had pierced the giant fish's belly with its antlers. Despite this strange discovery, many still believe the Lake Winnebago water monster and its descendants are still out there, hiding in the shallow waters of the lake. Strangers, would you go for a swim alone in the lake? Thanks strangers for watching. If you'd like to hear more strange stories, follow us on Amino, where we're posting strange content every other day. Also, be sure to follow us on our other social media so you never miss an update. And as always, stay strange.